I'm willing to backstab anybody and everybody for the win. I think you're pretty good at this game. I really hope to win, though. I'm ready to win Big Brother Hometown. I'm loyal until I no longer can be. Because I'm ready to compete. I also plan on fucking winning. I'll plead I make big moves, but not too early. You fail on your winner, BBH. I could go crazy. That would be fun. That's not what Big Brother is. It's called the grand prize. I'm ready to get in there. I'm ready to play. I want to win. Um, and honestly, I'm ready to win. We're winning this game. Manipulate my way through the game. The winning is always nice. This girl needs to be number one. I mean, one. Careful what you wish for, I guess. I'm back, and I'm ready to win. Good morning, BBH. Day one is today, and I am tired. I don't know if you can see the sleep still in my eye or my unmade bed. Is that a booger? Oh, shit. Wait, let me see who's on this cast and give you a quick rundown of my thoughts to everybody. At the top, you have Allie. Wait, did I talk to Allie? Let me look. So, I don't think... I, no, I did speak to her. No, there, there it is. Right there. It says Allie. Oh, Allie didn't respond to me. Oh, we don't we don't like that. We don't, we don't mess with that. Allie, that's troublesome. I don't like that. I don't trust that. That's shady. <laughs> Now she got RT. I like Ryan. What's up, BB Hometowns? This is an exciting start of the game. My game plan is to message everyone I know and be like, oh my god, bestie, ha ha ha, and like spam letters to laugh, which I'm getting sick of. I, I would want to work with Ryan. If Ryan wants to work with me, I will work with Ryan. It was like not a serious conversation we had. It was like really silly and stupid, but hopefully today, like, we could set up like a game relationship. Ryan would be a fun person that. I need to talk to him. Man, I really need... Dang it, Allie. Why did why you do that to me, Allie? I'm still confused. Like, being left on... Being ghosted, y'all. That, that hurts. I know it's been a day, but that hurts. So, me being the dumb player that I am, I didn't do my research. I probably should have. Especially me being a past player of the game. I should have probably done my research to know who's played past seasons. I feel like I'm a new player, but with the past experience um target thanks your thoughts tommy have not spoken to tommy tommy is someone that i need to talk to i was going to message tommy but thank i fell asleep so <laughs> that's what you get tommy courtney i talked to courtney i like courtney lance is someone i would be down to ride with i really did not know what i was getting into when i was dropped into that house group chat but I knew that I wanted to cover all my bases and start an individual chat with all the members. Probably not a good idea to talk to everyone all at once because that was really overwhelming. Lance has said many a times in chat about how he's new. He is a new player. And he personally messaged me and he was like, yo, I'm a new player to this page. And he and he said it like that, that I was like, okay, I think I just need to be as transparent as possible. You know, the last time I played this game, <laughs> I lied. I did a big, big lie, big blunder. I mean, it didn't, it, it, I think it pooped me up pretty badly. So, you know, I think I should just be transparent. And if it puts a target on my back, I mean, I always play with a target on my back. But at least I got uh, to know everyone a little bit, uh, so no one can say that I didn't talk to them when they evict me. It's been a long day. It's been a fun day. So far, I really like everybody. To be fair, I've only talked to like five or six people maybe. I primarily, I've talked to Erica a lot. I've talked to Courtney some, okay, maybe like four messages. I've talked to Ryan a lot. I've talked to Daniel quite a bit. I've talked to Ryan, if I didn't say Ryan, and Jack. I, me and Jack are from the same town. Uh, he moved back in 2009, but he's from Johnson City. We both went to the same elementary school in fourth grade. Granted, he was a lot older than me when he went there, but it's just so such a small world um aj jabbar how are you doing tonight jabbar it's day zero i'm fine had a few glasses of wine but <laughs> hey okay all right so maybe maybe we'll get the the real truth to come out tonight i always get the real truth <laughs> okay so i guess i'll babble for a second okay let's just rewind about 11 hours maybe I'm really excited to get started um i wake up i'm ready to compete and Oh my gosh. I'm I'm like I'm literally by my computer at call time and I realize I'm not even in the game. So you know, I'm tapping my foot, I'm waiting to enter the house and there's nothing. So I'm like, 
okay. So then I just decided to message my pride chat, like, hey, is the game supposed to be started? What's going on? And they're like, oh, um, yeah, let me just add you to the game that started 23 minutes ago. So I'm just like, I'm a little bit like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? So like, um, I get into this chat and everybody's already giggling and cackling. And I'm like, okay, that's weird, but whatever. (laughs) I'm just glad that it wasn't a call. Um, I didn't miss too much. So that's already a little bit like head scratchy. But then I'm like clicking and I'm seeing who's on the cast and I'm like, okay, okay, no, just no. After I finished looking at the cast, I stepped away from my computer. I took a second to breathe and then I came back like, oh, it's time to get ready for war because I already know that it's going to be coming. <laughs> well, welcome. Glad, glad. How was day zero? Tell us all about it. There we go. Oh, I see myself. Okay, cool. You can see me. Yes. Okay, so on the call last night was Jack, Brian, Tommy, Daniel, Erica joined, and Jabbar joined. Um, Brian Taylor needs to stop calling me Ange in front of people. I'm, uh, that was like, not. I feel like it was so obvious how well we knew each other by like, just the little things he was saying. I was like, Ryan, stop. But I talked to Robert for 20 minutes after that, and that was the best part of my night. I just am so obsessed and love, love, love Robert Riggler. He was at, like, a party and just trying. He's like, I didn't want to get on calls, but he's like, I have to talk to you. I told him everything that Ryan told me, basically. So about how Ryan, like, Ryan and I talked about a majority, who could be in it. I told him that, Ryan likes him, that he, Ryan likes Eric and Danielle, Eric and Danielle are friends, like, to get in with them, like, I will be telling Robert everything. Beautiful. Hello, Big Brother Hometowns. I haven't had any video calls besides with Angelica. So Angelica's been giving me all the tea. Like, I, I've been playing a cool, just, like, small talk, chit-chatting with everyone in the house, but Angelica, it was last well last night we got we were on call for like 40 minutes and then the night before we were both drunk on call she me and angelica are really going to try to keep this secret duo ship angelica has also told me she's like i'm just trying to play with everyone like oh we can be a secret final two yada yada it's like angelica's already telling me that she's making a bunch of like secret duo relationships with people which like most people would be sus of that but for me i'm like i don't care because i'm probably definitely going to be doing the same thing very soon you know so we're both so chaotic that you would think it would be even like more chaotic but for some reason like our chaos just meshes we understand basic game strategy and she's so good at off the cuff lying or like squeezing the truth and so we're gonna be a fantastic duo in this game like, maybe at some point down the line I'll turn on her, but my plan telling people about my relationship with Angelica is I'm just going to be like, she's really intense, and I don't want to be on her bad side. Which is true. She's intense, and I don't want to be on her bad side. Robert, uh, I don't think I fuck with Robert, y'all. I, I, Robert, you're on my bad side. I don't have a bad side. Robert, you're on my not okay side. Jabbar, I've played with Jabbar before, and Jabbar won the game. And I was one of two people who did not vote for him to win. From what I saw of Jabbar, Jabbar is someone I would not be against working with, especially considering in that game we never really worked together. So this game, I would be down to work with Jabbar. So I know Erica, um, Danielle, Jack, and AJ. Now, AJ, Jack, and Danielle are three people who I had a hand in sending home and past game. And Erica was actually on the tribe that voted me out nine to one first boot and voyage. So seeing her, though she's a good friend of mine, seeing her made me tense up a little bit like, oh my gosh, like this is not happening again. So Danielle is pathological. Um, she absolutely cannot be trusted. And I think that that became. Um, the problem that I had with Danielle, I just couldn't trust the damn thing that she said because I knew that she was lying to me. And then there's Angelica. So I've heard of Angelica. Um, she played a game with um, a good friend of mine and they 
did not get along. Now, I'm personally not the type that's going to target somebody just because a good friend of mine don't like you. But usually, if my friend doesn't like you, then. <laughs> um. So first, HOH is tomorrow. Do you want it? Oh, I want it, honey. You want <laughs> I it? I am okay. going for it. So far, I like everybody. I th I think me and Ryan will connect pretty good, and I think. Daniel and I will. I really like Erica. <laughs> so I don't know if it's like a completely horrible read and I'm just like so off and people are plotting my demise for next week. But I kind of feel like I I spread myself way too thin all over everybody's uh, minds. Um, and I mean, there's probably some people that have me ranked lower than others in terms of who they like, but I've gotten the, a vibe that people are interested in working with me. I'm a little nervous about that just because I don't want to be seen as like, to me, a friend to everyone is a friend to none, but I just want other people to not see that. <laughs> Cause I feel like I have my, I've planted my seeds of like relationships that I want to build. And now I just have to kind of like step back for a minute and let them kind of just like flourish and, uh, not pledge my allegiance to everyone, but like be in good with everyone, if that makes sense. What's up, people of the BBH world? It was only day zero. Um, lots of people just trying to figure out the vibes of everybody. Some standouts, unfortunately for me, are the people I know. And not because I know them already, but because the conversation's just there. I really like Daniel, Erica, Danielle, in and out but I don't even really know her, so I'm okay with that one. And I really like Jack. Hello, uh, this is Jack with a day one confessional, roughly 36 hours into the game, and uh, honestly, I feel like it's going pretty well. I mean, knock on wood, I think it's going pretty well. I think he's probably someone I've had the most consistent conversation with over the past 24 hours, and he seems to be a fan favorite. I feel really good with Ryan. RJ, he, his chat is Ryan, but his name in the game is RJ. I'm not sure. I, 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 ought to, I ought to just ask him, like, hey, what do you want me to call you? So, but I think I'm, I'm making good social connections to the point where I'm visible with everyone. Uh, you know, I got up this morning and sent my, my good morning to, like, the house and then engaged in six separate conversations at once. And I forgot, forgot what that was like, but... You know, I'm kind of kind of getting my game legs on a little bit. But aside from that, I think Abby has really stood out. Tommy has had some good lines in there every once in a while. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, my God. Okay, where to begin? It has been quite a day. Um, if I thought that yesterday was a little bit uh, slow and... Uh, Boring. Well, today certainly picked up the pace. So let's start from the beginning because I have a lot to say. Uh, the day kicks off and we're doing the plague thing. And I'm like, okay, great. There's like maybe four people that I don't really want to win. Um, and it's because I hadn't talked to them. Okay, I hadn't talked to Courtney. I hadn't talked to AJ. And I hadn't really talked to Allie or Danielle. Great. So as long as those four people like don't win, I should maybe be like off people's radar, right? Maybe that was me just <laughs> being way off base, but that's how I felt. Courtney, all of a sudden, she gets drawn first, so she can't win. And I was like, oh my God, Courtney, who is Courtney? But like, I knew who Courtney was because I, I've like, I've seen Courtney around. Whatever, I'm just going to pretend that I didn't know her. So Courtney gets out, perfect, one down. Then she takes out Allie and I was like, oh my God, even better. I'm two for two. Still all of these people that I feel good with in the game. Was upset to lose Robert, was upset to lose julia and nikki but i was like okay like whatever it is what it is but then i'm starting to be like okay like i thought aj was just inactive but no one's taking him out so maybe they just don't remember that he's he's there then erica gets it and erica messages me and she was like hey do you want me to give you the plague and i was like i would prefer you not give me the plague um but if you do give me the plague, this is who I would plague. I was like, AJ. And she was like, oh, well, yeah, he didn't talk a lot yesterday. But then, like, I, like, I've, I've talked to him since. And so I was like, damn, like, 
that's not great for me because that means one, he's an active player. Two, people have talked to him. And three, I have not talked to him. But I was like, that's okay because it's still part of my grandmaster plan of leaving a couple of people that I'm not really that close with. So if I do win HOH or I did win HOH, then I have people to nominate for a good reason. Jack goes, uh, Lance goes, fine, whatever it is, what it is. Angelica goes, Angelica hits me with the, um, what do you want me to do? And I said, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So I said, well, is there anybody that you don't want to nominate? Because I will not walk into this trap again. Uh, she didn't answer because she was at work, but then she takes out AJ and I'm like, this is glorious, but I'm going to pretend that I feel bad for AJ. Um, but I didn't. Whoa, a message just popped up. Please send a decision. What the? I'm, I'm obviously having... Oh, man. I sh- <sighs> AJ takes out Daniel. Daniel's my number one, uh, which was unfortunate because I thought AJ was going to take me out. Well, I guess it wasn't unfortunate because I didn't get taken out. But now at this point, I was like, all right, got to kind of hold on for dear life here because I don't want to take any of these people out. Next on my list would have been like Danielle. And I kind of like Danielle. So... Here's my little video confessional. I talked to Jabbar, Erica, Courtney, Tommy, Robert. So yeah, I liked everybody I've called so far. And Jack, but you've been new. I love Jack. And Daniel, I called Daniel too. Wow, I actually got around. Okay, look at me. And Nikki, and I liked all, all of them, honestly. Hello. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. It is your friendly neighborhood Mexican Jew, Nikki Rodriguez. So it looks like, according to my calculations, that Ryan, Tommy, and Jabbar are the last three remaining. I feel good if tommy gets hoh because i am pretty confident he's not gonna put me up for nomination probably the same with ryan as well i've been talking to him a lot more today jabbar though i've had a couple conversations with him i think but if he puts me up i don't think he would we've had a decent conversation so i really just hope it's not him that's hoh But whatever, it all shaked out. I did not want HOH when it came down to it. I really kind of wanted RT to take it because I think it would have painted like a bigger target on his back. Like I've seen him play and I think that he could he could probably outplay me. So I don't fully trust him. So I would have liked to see him take it and then him get the blood on his hands um, and leave me and Jabbar sort of out of it. But RT really didn't want it. Jabbar was like, I guess I'll take it if I have to. Congratulations, Jabbar, our first HOH PBH 14. Yay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's good. How are you feeling, baby? Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Um, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Um, I thought that this was going to be easy, but the two people who I was and probably still will put up decided to num- to um, reach out to me now. So, uh, I hate being a bad guy. So Jabbar has it. I feel good. Jabbar is like also kind of my number one. I feel really good with him and I feel really good with Daniel. Super happy that Jabbar won HOH and made me completely safe this week. During the plague comp, he promised me safety. So I was like, perfect person to win HOH. No blood on my hands. Safe for the week. Love to see it. Congrats to Jabbar who won head of household. I'm really glad that he won. He and I have really gotten gotten along and I don't think he has any issues with me. I did have a situation where it was my turn to plague someone and I was gonna ask around and see if people wanted the plague um, and if not, I wouldn't give it to them. But I just got impatient. I was like, I'm just gonna plague someone. So I just, I decided to plague Angelica cause she hadn't replied to my last message. So I don't know if she was even, active but I mean like we chatted a little bit yeah I didn't expect her to be mad about it well I had quite a day one yelling at someone in the house chat and then telling the whole house chat that I had had a lot of calls that was amazing for me doing really well (laughs) and she was mad because I had asked other people and not her and so I'm wondering who told her that I asked other people? So, 
yeah, that's kind of suspicious, so I gotta be careful. But yeah, she called me out in the house group chat, and it was really awkward. That's kind of a bad move on her part. People told me that they were like, could not believe that she did that. I guess it was crappy of me not to ask her, but I don't know. I don't know the etiquette. I didn't know I was supposed to. We hashed it out. We, I actually just got off a call with her um, and we talked a little bit about our game plan and she talked to me about something about how it would be a good idea if we still pretended to be annoyed about what happened and how it would benefit me um, if I was her target and or vice versa since no one would want to target someone who is already being targeted by someone else so I actually didn't really understand what she was getting at but I told her I did. I really don't know. Other than that incident, I think I've been getting along with a lot of people. Um, Lance is interesting. I really love Ryan. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip Lance. I really love Ryan though. Um, really need to get on call with him. He could potentially be like my favorite person in the entire cast. Abby got me sussed out because she's been on the other side of this before. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on her. If I had to be an HOH right now, she would be on the block for sure. Hey, um, these are gonna be my nominations for the first round of the game. First of all, I would like to start by saying I absolutely did not expect the game to move as fast as it is, but because it is moving at such a pace, I have to make a decision as best as I possibly can in a little bit of time. With that being said, my two nominees for this round of the game are Julia and Ali. Um, I nominated you both for pretty much the same reason. It's not a strategic decision. It's more of a social decision. We just haven't been able to communicate as much as I have been able to with everyone else. And I, I definitely want to take ownership in my part of this. I completely understand that this is a two-way street and I'm not blaming either one of you for this. However, it's just the way that the cards fell and I had to make the decision that I felt I would be the most comfortable with at this time. I wish you both the best of luck in the veto. I'm gonna thank God Jabbar didn't put me up. So I guess I was social enough that I didn't get nominated. Like, so... The first day I wanted to really pay attention to, I wasn't going to be making group chats. I wanted to see who was going to make the group chat with me and initiate that combo because it says how much of a social threat they're going to be. So for one, I think the first person that messaged me was Erica. She definitely had to be messaging everyone. Same with Nikki. Nikki had messaged me pretty early right away. And I assume same with Courtney. Uh, but I think Courtney's also going to be a social threat. Whereas like Danielle... She waited until the next morning to then start that conversation, which made me think that she also was like, you know, playing a little bit more laid back. Totally easily see myself working very closely with Erica, Nikki, Courtney, Danielle. Oh my God, the people I know playing the game. When I saw Miss Courtney Vale on this cast, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I've only done one online org before this and I played with Courtney. Every round of the game that I was in, she was in as well. Our relationship in this game, I think is going to be very, very crucial. Right now, she's not in my kind of inner circle of people that I've been working with, but me, her, and Jabbar have been able to kind of set up the fact that the three of us really want to protect each other and work together. I've got a few alliances going on right now. Um, I feel really, really good with Abby and Tommy. Those are like my top two right now. We formed an alliance called the Trio because D-A-T are our initials. It's a little silly, but I really like them. Very much on the same page about everything strategy-wise. And then we've got RT, who I have played MJM with many times. We've been on Zoom calls together throughout the last few months. Not a lot of people in the game know that. I have only talks Hello. to AJ like a tiny bit. Um, we have sent like 10 messages back and forth and I don't know, he just will always not respond. Like I'm always the last person to message and then he just won't respond for like an entire day. Nikki was along the same lines until last night um, where she started messaging me a lot more. Hello. I had a lot of really great calls with people today. 
first of all, Daniel, love this kid. I feel really good with him. He is someone that I can trust and someone that I could build a good relationship with in this game and hopefully move far with him. I felt like we connected so much on a lot of different things in life and similar interests, commonalities. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> you know what I mean. I also got to speak with Jabbar for a good good period of time. He was really great as well. I feel good with him. I'm not sure if he's someone I want to necessarily work far in this game or work with, but for the time being, I will talk strategy to him. Jabbar put up Ali and Julia. I like Julia. Julia and I are starting loss, so I have it on my screen right here to watch uh, number one of the pilot. And Ali, who I haven't talked much with. I, I don't know who Jabbar wants as like the target. I kind of don't care. I, I feel like the HOH's responsibility is to put up two people and then it's my responsibility as a person to then vote. So hopefully the veto goes well. I kind of want to play it. I like games, but... After Jabbar won the veto, Robert told me that Jabbar had told him he was thinking of using it on Julia and putting up Nikki, which just seems completely out of left field to me. And Ryan said, oh, well, between you and me, he might use it and Nikki will go up, which that was just like a light bulb because <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. But I know Ryan doesn't like that Nikki is friends with outside of this game, so therefore probably feels like he can't trust Nikki. So he would like Nikki out here. And I don't know if he knows that Nikki's going around telling people talking to Ryan Taylor is like talking to a white boy on Tinder because she told me that and Robert that. That was something. I gotta shut my fat fucking mouth. I talk too much. Despite only having a 10 minute call, how do I manage to subtly show all my cards? Um, just kidding. I have so many cards in my pocket. I showed like three. And I honestly may be able to save Julia and Allie here and get Nikki out who doesn't speak to me. Ideally, that's what happens here. I think that there's enough people who I've hinted at that kind of feel good about both of these noms that if Shabar does go around using this veto, which I think I gave him a, a little boost of confidence enough to kind of think of using it, I think he might. Jabbar did not use the veto, which is cool. Allie is starting to show that she like wants to fight. She wants to find connections. Julia, I have not hardly talked game with. Out of the five of me, Tommy, Daniel, Ryan, and Jabbar, Ryan kind of wants to keep Julia, but in the midst of it all, me and Daniel and Tommy are working together. Those are my ride or dies, period. I want Allie to stay. I'm going to try to talk to her and be like, hey girl, Tommy's vote's kind of up in the air. You could always probably like, you know, reach out to him and talk to him. I would reach out to Ryan and see if you could like connect in with him and like talk to him, try to talk a little bit of game with him and see what's going on. Plead your case, make them want you, make them want to keep you. Because at the end of the day, I know that if we can keep Allie, she may not know that I have a group of five people, including myself, but she knows that I have her back. And behind me, I have four other people that will have her back if I if I need them to have her back. The pressing thing right now is the veto that was just used, or lack thereof, wasn't used. Um, but prior to that, Jabbar called me and told me that he was thinking about using it after I was just on like 10 different calls with people telling them how wild and crazy it would be if he used it week one. So that was fun. Um, but I think I, I, I tried to steer him in a direction that was like, I think for your game and kind of my game, you should not use it. I also talked to Allie for quite a bit today. And I talked to her for, I don't know how long, way longer than I did when I talked to Julia earlier. And so I was really happy to get on a call with both of them, hear both of their pitches and what they wanted, have, wanted, what they wanted to say to keep themselves in. Personally, I just felt a more better organic relationship with Allie versus with Julia. And then Allie and Julia haven't really been around much. If I had a vote right now, I'd probably vote out Allie over Julia just because Julia has at least given me personality. She gives me conversation. I've talked to everybody, at least in text, today and called like 
six or seven and honestly had like normal like not just rushed conversations or like trying to fake stuff it i was like kind of sad last night and then today i woke up and um had more hope and just kind of like got to work and even if i do leave people said they were keeping me and if they and if it's a big vote then they're little bitches it's fine no i'm not gonna say that that's mean they're not they probably just wanted to vote majority but if they didn't let me know there we go before because i was like i don't care just tell me which is true because i really don't care <laughs> angelica and jabbar telling me that they think i'm staying um which is fine because if that's what they're hearing that's what they're hearing but like i don't want to hear that from people if they're literally not so hope i stay and if i do i'm just gonna um try to not be the baby who doesn't know anything because i do know how to play the game but i don't know how to play like the specific game so yeah hopefully i can see me more <laughs> i love it here if you can't tell hello everyone the votes are in once i reveal the vote the victim house guests will have just a few minutes to grab their belongings head on out and unfortunately you're gonna be the first one evicted from bbh 14 by a vote of I vote to evict Allie. God, I sadly vote to evict Allie. I vote to evict Julia. I vote to evict Allie. I vote to evict Allie. Today I will be casting my vote to evict for Allie. Hello, I am voting to evict Allie. I vote to evict Allie. I vote to evict Allie. To evict Allie. I vote to evict Allie. Ten to two, Allie, you have been evicted from the Big Brother hometown's fourteen house. Time to get Time ready to get for war. I already know that that's gonna, gonna be coming. Time to get so. I just wanted to get on and talk about tonight's eviction results. I'm a little surprised about the outcome. I think I should be fine with Julia as long as she either doesn't find out who I voted for or hopefully she doesn't hold it against me. I mean, it doesn't even matter because my vote didn't count anyway. <laughs> but I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. So good night.